Oceanfront Condominiums Gall. 766 All right. Now, since we anyway touched on the influencer marketing, I was yeah. going to ask you this question because at the Dragons, they don't speak about this, the influencer yeah. marketing. Uh, I wanted to ask you now, this influencer market is like really crowded now. Mm -hmm. uh, in Sri yeah. Lanka, uh, being an influencer has become an ambition or like a dream sort of a thing. Yeah. What Think about this influencer market from both the aspects, if I ask you. Um, okay, first of all, business aspect, as aspect uh, how do you really filter this? How do you really find the, I think this is an important question that I'm asking about the influencer marketing because yeah. a lot of the entrepreneurs in Sri Lanka, which I've also seen, whenever you come to Instagram, what you see is a lot of people with a lot of products, but mm. um, they need to like filter. What is your advice on this? What is your take for this? I mean, definitely, if it's it's as simple as it is finding the right influencer for your brand, but it's not it's not that easy um, to do to do that. So a lot of experimenting. So you will you know you'll hit some roadblocks. You'll you'll work with some influencers that you know uh, who's not the right match for or the fit for your brand. But it's you just have to go through the motions and go through the cycle to kind of figure that out. But like doing a bit of homework and um, kind of if there's someone who would promote like any brand on their profiles like just lo looking into their profiles is is the best way to do it and definitely you have you know a lot of people don't do it for free now um it's grown to uh, a proportion that people a lot of influencers ask for money and rightfully so they sh they should because they're using the platform to promote products so i don't see anything wrong in asking money uh, to do that um it's 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 just about finding the right fit just going through the motions going through the cycles going through their profiles and figuring out what's the right fit for your brand like just because an influencer has a huge amount of following but if you know if she's not socially culturally responsible you know you you know there are influencers like that with millions of followers who are who don't set the right example to you know young people coming up kind of thing uh, but it definitely depends on your product um, for example, like weed is legal in Canada. Um, so if you're promoting like a weed product, you don't have to think too much about like the cultural relevance and you know, how, how society will look at you. So you can pretty much go with any influence, right? But if you're promoting like baby products or if you're promoting like women's health or like, you know, health and nutrition kind of thing, um, you, you have to find, um, to find the right fit for you. It's tough. It's not easy. So there's, there's no clear-cut way of doing it it's just you uh, as a business figuring out what's the best fit for you and then you you probably will have to go through a couple of influencers to do that and and, and then you don't have to work with the same influencer over and over again right you can you can switch out influencers and you can see but it, it's 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 definitely marketing in this era is a good dose of influencer marketing with paid advertising with without paid you cannot do anything. 